you're wondering how to make videos without showing your face or voice, you've come to the right place because making videos without showing your face, also known as faceless videos, are becoming more and more popular on platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts as a way to market specific types of niches or businesses where if strategically implemented could help you create an additional stream of income. In this video, I'll show you a few different methods of how you can make these videos without showing your face, as well as the best faceless video ideas for you to create. While there are numerous benefits to being on camera, such as building authority and trust on a more personal level, these days it's definitely not a requirement and there are numerous social media accounts who are successfully using faceless videos as part of their online marketing strategy. So if you're camera shy or just looking for a way to streamline your content creation and be more consistent in your creation process, this video will show you everything that you need. You're not limited to just one option, you can definitely mix and match the different ways. So I highly recommend that you watch until the end to know all your options so that you know which ones are best for you and resonate for you. If you want a full breakdown on how faceless accounts and faceless digital marketing actually works. I also highly recommend that you check out my beginners video, which I've linked in the description below for you to watch straight after this one. But for now, let's dive right in. The first method that you can create faceless videos is by recording your own B-roll footage and using that as your faceless content. Technically, B-roll footage is any kind of footage that supplements what's known as the A-roll footage, which is usually the content with someone talking to camera. For example, me talking to you right now is the A-roll footage, and anything that isn't me talking to camera is defined as B-roll, which should typically accompany what I'm saying. Now with B-roll, you can be demonstrating or making something, you can capture yourself doing something like a morning routine or walking down the street, just something where you aren't talking or presenting anything to the camera. These videos work great in niches like cooking, art, drawing, writing, sketching, lifestyle, pets, and honestly, so much more. The second option is to use stock footage. Now, gone are the days of thinking that you need to film all this footage yourself or thinking that you don't have an aesthetic enough home because these days there are so many stock footage libraries that offer really high quality stock videos and images that you can use for your social media. Some of these libraries are free, some are paid, and some may have really great options for video and others are a little bit questionable. So just be sure to subscribe because I will have another video coming out very soon covering some of my favorite aesthetic pleasing stock video library options. If you do want to check them out for yourself in the meantime though, I do have some links in the description below for you that you can check out. Some of the most popular sites are Storyblocks and Awkward, but if you're going for more of that aesthetic Instagram kind of vibe that you've probably scrolled through, I highly recommend you check out Paxia, Social Stocks, Sought After Stocks, Soul Set Stocks, and the Stock Market Content, which are some of the most popular ones for that kind of niche. The third way that you can create faceless videos for your short form content strategy is by using screen recordings. You can simply record your phone screen, your computer screen, or any other screen that you're demonstrating, maybe a process or tutorial of some kind, or even sharing things like testimonials from your clients or customers. This is also great for the gaming niche where you can share a play from your game and engage or entertain viewers in that manner. The way that you will screen record your videos on various devices will vary. So if you do want a tutorial on how to screen record on various devices, just leave me a comment below so I can consider it for future videos. The fourth option is to use text on screen. Now, this is a really popular method in vertical video creation, particularly to hook a viewer in with an on-screen text hook, which then leads the viewer to read more in the caption and increase engagement. However, there's so many ways to utilize text on screen, whether it be to share popular quotes, stories about your life, something motivational or educational, and so much more. Because many people typically watch videos without sound on most social media platforms, text on screen can play a huge role to get and keep a viewer engaged. To create these kinds of posts, you can easily do so within the TikTok or Instagram apps using their text tools. Or if you wanna make the fonts more customizable, you can also do that on programs like Canva, Final Cut Pro, CapCut, and the likes. The fifth way is to use your photos or stock photos in video format. All softwares allow you to drag and drop your photos into video timelines to apply simple effects or transitions in between them so that they flow smoothly and aren't just static videos that pop up one after another, which in turn creates more engagement. My favorite tool that makes this easier than ever to achieve is CapCut. They literally have so many options to put different effects on your photos, like a 3D photo effect. I love how much more accessible these more advanced ways of creating are available to those who aren't as tech savvy or really just don't have the time. The sixth option is to record your presentations via PowerPoint or keynote presentations, which both have the option to save out as a movie. This option would be really good for anyone who is in more of the analytical or data-driven niches. Now, I personally see this working for more long-form content or for things like webinar presentations, but it definitely was worth mentioning in case it might spark some ideas for you. 
You can easily spruce up the look and feel of your presentation slides by using templates from marketplaces like Envato or Canva, so that way you don't need to start completely from scratch with your video content. The seventh option is to use animations. Now, this can include things like AI-generated animations to accompany a story of sorts, or the famous whiteboard stories that you can create, or you can hire a professional designer to create characters or cartoon animations for you. A great example of that kind of animation is Lenny the Blob, where they incorporate inspirational or funny storytelling with a cute animation to accompany the main messaging. These types of videos are easier to create than you might think, thanks to services like Doodle and Animator that make both of these kinds of videos. Or you can find an animator on Fiverr or Upwork as well. So as you can see, there are so many options and styles of creating videos for your social media without showing your face. And while Faceless does come with its many pros, there are also a couple of cons, and the main one being the ability to build trust with your audience. By showing your face, people have a much easier time to connect with you and therefore are able to build a relationship with you on a more human-to-human kind of level. If the only thing holding you back from showing your face on camera is being camera shy, just know that this is a learned skill which anyone can learn. Take it from me as someone who grew up super shy and now we're here somehow, I don't know how, <laughs> making new tools for this awesome community. As always, if you found this video insightful, valuable or useful, please be sure to like, subscribe and share with a brand or creator with whom you think this could really help. Again, all my links are in the description below for you and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.